In this video, we're going to talk about probability and odds because they both play a very major role in poker mathematics. So let's start off talking about probability. So basic definition of probability is that it's the likelihood that something will occur. Now, in terms of probability, it's used in all sorts of different areas of study, such as mathematics, the sciences, business, finance, and of course, in our case, gambling, because poker is a form of gambling. Now, a more discrete definition of probability is that it's the number of times something will happen out of the total number of chances of it happening. So, for example, we could say... It's going to happen one out of three times, or 33.3% .3 of the time. Now let's talk about rain. Let's say that the meteorologist says that there's a 60% chance of rain. Well, what that person is saying is that the probability of raining today is 60 out of 100, or 60 divided by 100, or if we just break that down further and simplify it, 6 tenths, or 3 fifths, or there's a 60% chance of rain, like we said right here. So pretty basic, right? Well, let's do an example of determining the probability of being dealt pocket aces, or let's say the probability of asking to be dealt any specific pocket bear before the dealer deals them out. So we know that in a deck of cards, there's 52 cards and there are four aces, right? The ace of clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. So Let's think about this. The dealer is dealing out the cards. They deal us one card, and the first one is an ace. Well, once we're dealt that one ace, we know that there's only three aces left in the deck. And out of the cards that we've seen, we've only seen one. So there are 51 cards that have been remained to be unseen. So what's the odds of the second card being an ace? Well, it's going to be three out of the 51 cards that we haven't seen. So what's the probability of us getting the first card and the second card? Well, the first probability is we know that there's four aces, so it's going to be four in 52. That's the odds of the first card. The second one, like we just said, is three in 51. And so to determine the probability of getting two aces, it's called combined probability. And so we multiply these two together, 4 over 52 times 3 over 51 gives us a combined probability of less than 1%. So 0.452% probability of being dealt pocket aces. And this holds true for any poker pocket pair if you ask for a specific pair before it's being dealt from the dealer. All right, so now let's talk about odds. So what are odds? Well, odds are just simply another way of expressing a probability, and they're commonly referred to as ratios, such as what you see right here, such as two to one. Now, in terms of odds, we commonly see in gambling things mentioned in odds rather than as a probability percentage, such as, for example, two to one. And if we think about a specific poker odds, well, let's talk about the odds of flopping a set or better. That is seven and a half to one, meaning that we have seven and a half to one probability of flopping a set or better. Now, in terms of odds in poker, we can think of it as being used in two different ways. It's the probability or the odds of making a hand. That's one way that we can think about using it. And the second one is pot odds, which is the odds that when we bet that we're offering our opponents to call, or if somebody else bets and we are going to call that bet, that's the odds that we're accepting. So we're going to talk about these a bit further as we go into this lecture. In regards to pot odds and the probability of making specific hands, um, we're going to discuss those as we progress in the course as well. So don't worry if this isn't making complete sense right now. It will as we progress in the course. So let's talk about pot odds ratios. So when it comes to pot odds, we're primarily concerned with the odds of the caller because when we're calling a bet, we're usually calling with the worst hand, which is going to be a drawing hand. So for example, let's say that we're getting two to one pot odds. And don't worry, we'll figure out how to calculate this as we progress in the course. What this is telling us is that we are risking one to win two here.
And let's just assume that these are dollars. So we're risking $1 to win $2. And in terms of this, we can actually look at this as a reward to risk ratio. So two to one pot odds actually means that we are risking $1 to win $2. And let me go ahead and get my pen tool because I wanna go ahead and draw some arrows so you understand this. So we are risking $1 to win $2. So two to one pot odds is giving us a specific reward to risk ratio. I want you to understand that because this is gonna come into play as we better understand pot odds and odds in general. Now in terms of odds, we can view them as a ratio or we can view them as a percentage. So let's talk about viewing them as a percentage on the next slide. So when it comes to viewing odds, we have an option. We can view it as a ratio or a percentage. Now, I don't know about you, but when I look at an odd such as 2 to 1 or 8.5 to 1 or 7.5 to 2, looking at that, that's cryptic to me. I really don't understand what it means. I actually have to convert it to a percentage to understand it a lot of times. Now, for the basic ones such as 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 1 to 1, and so forth, I've used them so much that I can do that conversion in my head and I know what the percentage means. But I think for me and a lot of people, looking at odds and probability as a percentage is much more intuitive because we grow up thinking about things as a percentage and we're commonly talking about things in a percentage. And if you don't work in the gambling industry or if you're not a professional gambler, you don't deal with odds a lot. So I wanna show you how to do this conversion. So it's very simple. So with a ratio, there's a very simple mathematical relationship between it and a fraction. And of course, we can just turn a fraction into a percentage. So what you see here is you see this relationship. We have M to N equals N divided by the sum of M to N, where M of course is our reward and N is our risk. So let's say we're given this ratio M to N and we wanna convert it to a percentage. Well, this is what we do. We take N, put it on the top, on the numerator, and we do M plus N on the denominator and we just take that sum. So our percentage is if we look at it from the perspective of risk and reward, our percentage is risk divided by the sum of risk plus reward. If we just look at the variables, it's the same as what we see right here. So let's actually practice converting a couple of different ratios to percentage on the next slide. All right, so I've created two different examples and I wanna start off talking about converting two to one odds to a percentage because well we've been talking about two to one so far in this lecture so remember if we are given two to one remember two to one is equal to m to n where m is equal to two and n is equal to one and if we want to convert this to a percentage we use that basic formula n divided over the sum of m plus n so simply we put n in the numerator, so that's one, and in the denominator, it's gonna be the sum of both of these, so two plus one. So one divided by the sum of two plus one equals one over three, and if we convert that to a percentage, it's 33.3. .3. And so that tells us that two to one equals 33.3%. So if we're saying that this is drawing odds, two to one drawing odds tells us that we're gonna hit our draw 33.3% .3 of the time. If it's two to one pot odds, it means that we're being offered 33% pot odds, excuse me, 33% pot odds. Very simple, right? Now let's talk about three to one. So let's do another conversion. So again, three to one is gonna be equal to M to N, where M is three and N is one. And then again, we use this very simple formula, one divided by the sum of both of these, three plus one, and that's gonna tell us that it's one divided by four, and one divided by four, of course, is 25%. So if we are being offered three to one pot odds, it means that we're being offered 25% pot odds. Now, don't worry if this doesn't make sense with the pot odds and what that means. We're gonna talk about pot odds. We have a lecture dedicated to it, and we're gonna talk about it more than once. We're actually gonna talk about it multiple times as we go throughout the course. I'm gonna explain what it is. So that's how you do this conversion. Now, we don't always have to do this conversion. There's actually a very simple way to do it directly in 
a percentage format, but I wanted to make sure that if you were given these odds or if you can if you viewed something as an odds as a ratio, you wanted to do the conversion, you could easily do it this way. Now, for those of you that just want a simple table as a reference guide, well, here's one that I created. You can create your own. You could print this out. It's up to you. But for those of you that play online and if you just want to compute things as an odd and you don't want to have to do the math in your head because you're playing online, you don't have a lot of time, well, you can have a table like this ready to go. So what I've done is I just put a simple odds to percentage table here that tells you the percentage that refers to the specific odd. So for example, the two that we've done so far, we did two to one and three to one. So we have that equates to 33% and 25%. So that's our quick introduction, our primer on probability and odds. And I know it really wasn't that quick of an introduction, but it was a very high level overview of odds and probabilities and ratios and percentages. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.